Hello all, and welcome back to another Gavin Andrews Entertainment video. It's Art here with a book review for Paid in Blood by Mel Odom, the first book in his, in his NCIS book mystery series. Uh, I found this book to be really, really good. I'm going to compare it to the NCIS TV show, the original starring Mark Harmon, and um, for a long time, Pauly Perrette. Um... It is, it's really, really good. Um, the premise of the book is that they've got cases, they've got two cases that, that they're looking at in, in the book, mainly. The death and murder of an NCIS agent who we don't get to meet, we just see her dead body. We don't get to meet anything with her, we just see her dead body. We don't see her dead body, but when we find out about her dead body, we do get to meet the team. The uh, the commander is Will. I forget the I forget the last names, but there's Will, Frank, um, and I forget the analyst name because it's it's weird. It's like Evangel uh, Evangeline or something like that. It's it it's a very weird um, first name, but. They get this case, and they also get the case of tracking down stolen arms goods uh, around the world. So, it takes the traveling uh, from base to base in jurisdictional fights that you would see in NTAS. You do see a more structured formulaic writing that would be more in form with military code and you do find out about their personal lives and their personal struggles so it feels in that sense of they're balancing work they're balancing family and personal stuff and something's got to give and usually with dogs uh, usually with investigators and people that are dedicated to their jobs their personal lives wane and that shows but it also shows the effect that um, it takes for the families and for the people. Mel Odom writes it in a very gritty, very realistic, very deep style. It's done very, very well. It's a Kim Kindle Unlimited read, so if you're a Kindle Unlimited s subscriber, you are then um, on board with what it does. So, um, you know what it does, and you can read these books for free, of course. They're very deep, very enthralling books, a very quick read. It's about, I'd say, two to three hundred pages. Now, about, about three hundred to three fifty, uh, there's locations, and those, the five thousand three hundred twenty-nine locations kind of mark it out page wise to 300 and between 325 to 350 pages so it's a decent size read very decent size read very good read it it flows and functions perfectly the the, the pace keeps moving which if you're going to read a new series you like to read a new series that keeps its pace doesn't have to like slow down and explain things to you it explains things to you in the natural order of things which tells me Mel Odom is a good writer because he doesn't have to info dump things to you he tells you things in the natural flow of exploration and exposition and this NCIS unit even has a canine unit because Frank is the head has his dog Max who is a canine military dog and can do many things. Max is a superstar in his book if you ask me. Even though Max doesn't say anything, Max helps the team out a lot and Max was one of my favorite characters in the book. So it's got a very jagged feel to it. It's got a very structured feel to it but I think that was on purpose and I kind of liked that about it. I kind of liked the fact that it had multiple cases so you got to see the unit work 
You got to see the unit flesh itself out. You got to know the unit as the book goes went along. All three books in the series, Paid in Blood, Blood Evidence, and Blood Lines, are all on Kindle Unlimited, or they only cost two ninety nine per Kindle read. So that they're on the inexpensive side if you aren't a Kindle Unlimited subscriber. They are amazing in that fact, and I think they're worth the read. They obviously didn't get very much play, and Mel Odom probably doesn't get very much play because I haven't seen any physical copies of the books. But um, if you have an e-reader, you should definitely look it up. You should definitely do what you have to do to get yourself a hold of these copies. Now, what would I market on my scale? On my scale, it's a read it, own it, love it. It's very succinct, very precise, very tight, very tight-knit, and very deep. It is very good. And on the Goodreads scale, I'd give it a 4 out of 5 because it's a little bit jarring at points. It's not exactly perfect, and we have more books to read in the series, so they may flesh out and get better. But I would say this book, as a first book entry, is an amazing entry. It's an amazing book, but it's just not quite to that top tier 5 out of 5 Goodreads read. But it is a very good read. It, it is a very amazing read, and it's a fun read. It's a, a read that'll go quick, a read that's succinct, a read that'll be fun. A read that is very descriptive and very, and for that matter, since it's so descriptive, it is very well pictured in the mind. It feels like the NCIS TV show, while not being the NCIS TV show, it feels like it's structured like the NCIS TV show. And if you are a fan of the NCIS TV show on CBS and or Paramount Plus then I think you need to read these books because it's more of a continuation or a different look at a different team that you get to know over the, the three book arc. But let me know in the comments down below if you read anything by Mel Odom, Paid in Blood, Blood Evidence, or Bloodlines. Let me know that in the comments down below. And until next time, you know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like Comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And without further ado, happy reading. I'll see you again soon. And peace.